What's up, everybody? I'm Yul Moldauer here, and welcome to the first episode of Interviewing an Olympian. First of all, Yul, thank you for coming on to the show. Let's jump right into it. What are you most excited about this year? Hey, no, yeah, thanks for having me. Super excited to be here. I'm excited that uh, it's the year of 2024. The Paris Olympic Games are just around the corner. You know, the Olympics is so special because you know, you wait four years to compete. And when it's finally the year of the Olympics, I think you just get all this extra energy and motivation. So I'm really excited that we're in the year of the Olympics. Yeah, you must be super excited that it's finally the year of the Olympics. I can. How do you specifically handle nerves when you compete? Nerves? Um, I just accept them. You know, for me, I think nerves are a good thing. If you don't, if you aren't nervous, it's not important to you. It's who can hit under pressure. It's not who can block out all the nerves. It's who can take them head on and, and trust their body, trust their training, trust their coaches, and just trust, trust themselves in the moment. If I could compete in front of a million people like football players do, you know, that's something I dream of. It is nerve wracking, but that's, that's part of being an athlete. You want to be in those situations. And I think the athletes that can handle the nerves and hit under pressure are the ones who really figure it out. Um, for me, I just do a really slow breathing technique before every routine. I, I close my eyes and I just focus on 10 deep breaths. And before I salute, I tell myself th something positive, like, let's do this, let's go. Or sometimes I'll even look at my teammates and look them in the eye and just let them know that I'm ready. Oh, wow. That's, those are some good points. You know, I know I deal with nerves all the time. So hearing that, that's actually something that maybe I can work on. Thirdly, I should say, how do you balance your life and your athletic career? Balancing my um, personal life and my athletic life. I think that's something that all athletes truly have to um, understand and have a schedule and really remind themselves that they are a person too. You know, I'm so grateful that I have such a great group of friends and family and you know wherever I am or what I'm doing it's not in the gym I really try and take that day to really not focus on it and let my mind and body just rest and relax I think it's really important for all athletes to not be drowned in their work but also mentally and physically just get out and do something besides their sport and it'll keep you loving your sport it'll keep that that grind that you want to keep pursuing it so you know balancing my life outside of the gym is something i work really hard on just so when i'm in the gym i'm all focused in the gym and then when i'm out you know it's take the day how it was no matter if it was good or bad um you know you have to understand that that's part of you know an athletic career you're not going to have good days you're not going to have good meets so holding on to the negative things can actually bring you down more so it's really important to get out get out of your sport and let your mind go free that, those are some good points you know i really like what you said about making sure on sunday you're completely mind free outside of the gym and so you talk about embracing the grind what is that and what does it mean to you i mean i love embrace the grind i literally have t-shirts i have a poster that's hanging up my wall that i can look at every day but it's you know something that we really learned uh at OU, at Oklahoma, we always said championships are won in preseason, and it was hard. You know, we had 6 a.m. weights, then we had class, then we had practice again until 5.36, and you got to go do your homework and go to bed, wake up early all week long. So that's, that's the grind. And I always tell people, trust the process, enjoy the process, because the process is the product. And if you want to be successful, you're going to have to go through days where you wish you weren't doing gymnastics or you wish you weren't doing whatever you're involved in. So embracing the grind is really just embracing the process and the time and the work and, and the pain and the soreness and all that. Because that one day, you know, you won't regret it. My coach always says, when you see an Olympic champion on the podium crying, they're not, they're not crying because of the medal. They're crying because they're remembering what it took and what that process was. Wow. I might actually have to send my uh, kids to Oklahoma so maybe they can get that perspective too. And lastly, what is something you do as a hobby outside of gymnastics? Hobbies. I have a lot of them. I love mixing music. I love working on my cars. I, I actually really do enjoy cooking. Um, I haven't gotten to do much of it 
because my uh, brother just moved in and he's been cooking a lot for me. So that's actually been really nice. But I'm really an open book. I like doing anything. I like being outside. I like fishing, camping. Um, so I'm honestly um, an open guy to pretty much anything. Thank you so much for your time, Yule, and thanks for tuning in.